Time Machine Talk Show. Today we will be, we will be interviewing some famous historical explorers from Canada's north. Please welcome my first guest, Robert Bylot. Kaya, let's set the time machine to 17th century and let out Robert. Welcome to the show, Robert. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you very much. My name is Robert Bylot, and I am well known as a 17th century explorer. That's really in interesting. Where exactly did you explore? I explored the Arctic. In fact, I made four voyages. Where are you from, Robert? I'm from England. I was born into a working class family. I also didn't get a formal education. Remember kids, stay in school. How did you be become an explorer? I joined the British Navy. In fact, I held a rank of master in the British Royal Navy. Were there any problems on your first voyage with Henry? Yes, there was a few small problems. First, Hudson and I had a disagreement and they took away my rank. And the crew and I wanted to go home, but Captain Hudson wanted to continue the voyage. That sounds terrible. It was, but things got better. As part of a mutiny, I sent the captain, his son, and some of the crew adrift on a small boat. We left him in the middle of the ocean. That sounds terrible. Due to my navigation skills, I was able to safely return the ship to jolly old England. I was tired of the mutiny, but I was pardoned. In your face, Hudson! I am safe to assume that were, there were no explorations with Hudson. That is correct. The next exploration was with Sir Thomas Putton in 1612. We returned to Hudson Bay. Been there, done that. We stayed at the mouth of the Nelson River in the winter. And in the spring of 1613, we sailed north and reached 65 degrees latitude. And then I returned home to England. So by now, you must be tired with exploring the Hudson's Bay. It's very boring. How could I be called an explorer if I keep going back to the same place? For my third trip in 1615, I was hired by the Muscovy Company to find the Northwest Passage. I was hired to be captain of the Discovery. We sailed back from Hudson Strait, where we were blocked by ice at Frozen Strait. The Northwest Passage sounds exciting. Please tell me more about, about your fourth trip exploring. My fourth trip was in 1616. I was hired by the Muscovy Company to continue the search for the Northwest Passage. I was joined by a pilot, William Baffin. We discovered a lot of things and set records. What did you accomplish? The first thing we achieved is the, the circumnavigating and the map of what is now known as Baffin Bay. The second thing we discovered no. was Smith Sound. We think we would have found the North Pole if we kept sailing. Those are great accomplishments. Thank you, but there is more. The third discovery was Lancaster Sound. We were confident this was the route of the Northwest Passage. And the fourth achievement is we were able to reach 77 degrees, 45 minutes latitude. We don't think this record will be broken for 236 years. Is there anything you're not happy about? Yes, I didn't get enough credit for my last trip. The people in England didn't believe all the discoveries I made. They gave most of the credit to William Baffin. 
This may have been due to my lack of education and status, or because of that whole mutiny thing. Thank you so much for time traveling this, to this interview. Good luck in the past. Welcome back. My second guest today is William Baffin. Robert, I believe you are acquainted with William. Yes, indeed. Let's set the time machine again to the 17th century and bring out William. to Greenland. Did you serve in anything? Yes, I served in the Spitsbergen whale fishery as a pilot. At that time, it was controlled by the Muscovy Company. Who were some of the people on James Hall's ship? Well, there was Sir Thomas Smith, uh, Sir James Lancaster, Sir William Cochan, and Captain Hall. They were on the patient's ship. So did you try to find the Northwest Passage? Yes. In 1615, I tried to find the Northwest Passage, and I was accompanied by Robert Bylaw. What was your following voyage? In 1616, I sailed again as the pilot of the Discovery. We sailed to the west of Greenland and north of, the, of Davis Strait. Here I discovered a large bay to the north, which, I, which is named after me. How far did you travel on this voyage? On this voyage, I traveled over 480 kilometers farther north than John Davis. In fact, I traveled as far north as 77 degrees and 45 minutes latitude. This is a record that I don't, that I think wouldn't be broken until 1852. Were you su successful finding the Northwest Passage? Sadly, no. I believe the route was given up on for 200 years. Did you continue exploring the north? No, this was my last trip north. I was hired by English East Indian Company. From 1617 to 1619, I sailed to Surat in British India. Did you do any more traveling? Yes, I went on one last voyage in 1620. I sailed to the east of, to the port Portuguese fort on Kisham Island. Unfortunately, there was a war happening when I got there. Didn't you get shot there and die from a, your wound? What? I got shot and died? <laughs> Thank you so much for performing this interview, William. Good luck with your gunshot. Please join us next week when interviews. Okay. Angelina and Viking Shut air off the rat. <laughs> <laughs>